Hello everyone, this is a Steven Universe Theory video on who is the most hated character to when I did the first one. I think it was back in May, early May that I did it and I know it's, if I'm right, my most watched video. I'm pretty sure, at least like the top three and I know it's still getting like feedback this day and the numbers are still going up and all that and I always have been planning to do a second one, a, a sequel, per se, but I just haven't really gone around to it with the discussion videos, then I got into the Loud House, and then episode reviews, and then, of course, the bigger theory part, uh, the How Strong Is series. So, I kind of got a little caught up. Not only that, I just really couldn't think of, like, characters that I usually see get hate on a daily basis, or, you know, just see people say, like, man... I don't like that character. Like, why, why is that character in the show? I didn't really see much of that within the time gap or within the time of the first one and then now. But with the summer of Steven and all of the episodes that they had, the plethora of them, I can now tell you who these characters, or at least in your opinion, out of these four or even the eight from the first one and this one, who is the most hated character. The first thing though, let me just get this out of the way, the reason why I have Marty and Kevin in this one, and the reason why I didn't have him in the first one, and could have easily replaced Pearl and Lapis if you've seen that one most likely, the reason why, it's because they were only on screen for a minute or two. Marty and Kevin, that's it. There wasn't really anything that I can go off of. And yeah, I know, oh, they're, they're a jerk and they did this. But that was only within the span of one episode and then a minute or two. That's it. There wasn't really anything worth talking about. Yeah, he's a jerk character. All right, let's move on. There wasn't anything to really go deeper into that. But as said again with the Summer of Steven episodes, they, they pretty much got like their own episodes pretty much revolving around them entirely. And, well, we've seen pretty much their true colors, or their truer, truer colors, I guess you would call it. I'm going to start off with Marty, because out of the two, Marty and Kevin, I think, at least in my opinion, that he's the worst. Not in the entire four, but out of the two that I just mentioned. Reason why is because, well, you pretty much all know why. He's, you know, as again, the worst one. He's a quote-unquote dad even though he left Vidalia and sour cream when he was at at least the age of uh, let's say about eight nine around that age he left them then and then just never really came back I note and a bit of correction since I'm stupid and my thinking isn't really straight when it's about 4 a.m. in the morning recording this uh, I would like to correct myself saying that Marty didn't leave Sour Cream at least at the age of 8 or 9. He most likely left them when he was a baby because you can see in the episode of Greg the Babysitter, Marty was nowhere to be seen within the episode and it was just Vidalia and Sour Cream. So, yeah, that's my mistake. Never really came back and the only reason he came back was just to pay Greg and then he was gonna bounce but he saw that, oh, I have a chance to, you know, help out my son. That's what we thought at first, but nope. He still turns out to be kind of a dick, and he just, no problem, no real hesitation either, pushes his son aside just for a soft drink advertisement. Like, oh yeah, you know, drink this amazing drink, even though it was absolutely terrible and probably could have killed people. <laughs> but... Really? This guy was supposed to be a dad and then has no problem just pushing his son aside just for advertisement and all that? That is low, honestly. I couldn't even think of, like, any other character that I know that would do that. At least not to that, like, extreme. Or at least within, like, cartoon standards. So, uh, Marty, yeah, he's not a great... He's not even a great guy and especially not even a great father. Next is Kevin. You all know him. Kevin. Kevin time. It's Kevin time and all of that. You know him and for the things that he's done. At first I put the episode alone together. Yeah, that's what it's called. I didn't really understand why 
people kind of hated him. I thought he was kind of cool and a bit of just for comedic effects, and it was funny and all that. But with the episode Beach City Drift, I see why people actually don't like him. And I, too, kind of disliked him because I thought he was, like, you know, just kind of this guy who's just a bit of a show-off, nothing more. But, no, he's just actually kind of this guy who's a jerk for no real reason. I mean, we thought there was a reason when he was telling the story for his brother, but nope. It just turned out to be a lie. Like, how are you just going to lie about something that serious and then just laugh it off? Like, oh, yeah, I'm the greatest. What? Like, where does that logic come in? And let's be real here. We've all met a person like that in our entire lives. So Kevin is, like, real in one way or another. He's that one person that you just do not like. There's very self centered Everything that you do, they think that it's because of them. Oh, you did this because of me. It's not true. Very, very have high pride within them, and they think that they're above everyone else, and you're obsessed with them, which in some ways, kind of like with the ending of the episode, no, it was a bit of the other way around. At least eventually it was, so, yeah, you pretty much know who Kevin is, that, that jerk that everybody knows, and simple as that now for the demon child or the original yellow diamond in disguise and the questionable onion i suppose now kind of like with marty and kevin people are asking me and questioning me it's like why didn't you add, why didn't you add onion to the video he's, he's super creepy he's weird he's satan he's a jerk to steven he's all these things did i mention he's satan the things they could come up with as best as they can to describe the little demon child. And to me, the reason why I didn't add him in the first place is because, well, I didn't really see that in him. I thought he was just simply what he was, a kid that just caused trouble. Nothing more than that. And we've also seen that, well, the reason why he kind of does some of the things is because, well, he doesn't really have any friends his age, or at least any friends that would willingly hang out with him. That's why there's the episode Onion Gang, which, in my opinion, I think is probably a pretty quote-unquote, very heavy quotes there, filler episode. I know there's technically no filler, but to me, it, it seemed like a bit, but you never know. Those characters might come back. But as again, there are people out there that, even with seeing that episode and probably feeling sympathy, uh, for Onion, they still would say that, nah, he doesn't, you know, deserve my respect. He's a creep, a jerk, Satan, is a demon. I don't know what that kid's problem is. Have you seen his eyes? His eyes, man, have you seen them? And all the things that he's done. So, Onion, yeah, he's a pretty creepy kid for some reason, doesn't really speak English, even though I'm pretty sure he's well past the age of at least speaking words, but... I'm not too sure about that. And now on to the last one, the big puff, Cheeto puff, Jasper. We all know her, and I know what you might be thinking, or you probably even typed it in the comments already just from looking at the thumbnail. Jasper? Why would some people hate Jasper? I love the big buff Cheeto puff. Is she so cool as a villain and an antagonist and all that? Well, that's... A bit of the reason why some people don't like her because of the things that she has done to Beach City. I wouldn't say that she specifically did it because, I mean, it's just kind of part of her job. It was also part of Paradox's thing back then when she was still a bit of an antagonist. But she harmed Steven. She harmed the gem. She hurt them pretty badly as well. Steven, Black Eye, Garnet, split into pieces literally and then most likely... I wouldn't say that she harmed Pearl and Amethyst, they most likely gave up, because they weren't really, at least physically injured from what we saw on the episode Jailbreak, but they took them hostage anyway, and all this other stuff she did, it kind of like, you know, is forcing fusion with Lapis a bit, begging, actually like getting on her knees and begging, kind of like a abusive relationship, something like that, I mean, I've talked about that before in my episode review for that episode where she did it, but yeah, Jasper... A lot of things that she's done, many people don't like her for what she's done, and in ways I can understand it. I even told one of my friends, like, oh, I kind of feel bad for 
Jasper in the episode Earthlings where uh, she said no one wants to fuse with me or like whoever fuses me never stays. But she, he his response was good. She deserved it. And I'm thinking, okay, <laughs> and that's what you think. So Jasper pretty hated for pretty much being an antagonist and all that. But that's kind of up to you to decide as well. But that's pretty much everything I need to talk about for each character. I don't think I really need to get truly in depth. You've You've pretty much been watching this show for at least a good year to three years, depending on when you've been watching and all that. So it's kind of up to you to decide, out of these four or even eight characters from the first one, who is the most hated character. My opinion out of these four, Marty, he's probably my least favorite out of these four. Just a terrible, terrible role model, father, just guy in general. He's done terrible things. And I know, like, the only good thing that he's done is, like, Technically, make, made Greg meet Rose, and the whole series started, and gave Greg the millions of dollars that he earned, but other than that, nah, he's not a good guy, but let me know what you think in the comments below of who's the most hated character, and your reason behind it. I would love to see your comments, but as again, let me know what you think in the comments below. Have any questions, comments, or concerns, uh, any discussion topics you want me to talk about, uh, I will leave a little comment of reply here for discussion ideas. One drawing fan art for the channel would be greatly appreciated. The email for it is in the description. Tell me about it before you send me it so I have it heads up. And everything else you know what to do. Bye.